We have a birthday this week. Mr. Zeke is turning seven, and he's requested a rainbow jello cake. So I'm gonna use five different colors of jello, which I need to dig out the jello. I have green, we're gonna do red, strawberry, uh, he picked out, he wanted blue. And we'll have the orange, and then I'm gonna make purple with the blue and the red. I'm gonna mix up just a little bit extra of them so we can have purple too. And I think that'll work. I'm loosely adapting this from my red, white, and blue poke cake that I make sometimes for the 4th of July. It's pretty much the same thing, just right, more colors, more colors. And I'm also using a gluten-free cake mix. He picked out a confetti cake mix. <laughs> All the color. <laughs> and it'll it'll be good. It's King Arthur, so. Oh, I need to wash some eggs. We need three large eggs. I want to pick out uniform eggs, not giant, giant eggs. So I just need three. I'll do that one. Alright, these look good. I usually soak these, but they'll be all right as long as they, they're pretty clean eggs. We usually let the kids pick what they want for dinner on their birthday. It just makes it a little more fun for them. And then I usually ask them what they want. Do they want a cake? Sometimes Jacob will want a cheesecake. Once in a while, someone will want a giant cookie or a pie. Just depends. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 and then I'm just going to mix up the cake by the box and I'll bring you along with me as I do that. It's that time of year where you hear tractors all over the place. Instructions on your cake are gonna vary depending on the cake mix that you're using. This one says to combine my oil and eggs and milk and beat them until they're frothy. And then I add in the mix. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I've got half a cup of canola or vegetable oil, three large eggs, and then I'm gonna add in a cup of milk. Put this on first. Huh? All right. for about a minute until it begins to thicken. I think it's been about a minute. Get off of here. I'm using a greased 9x13 pan. It said just to grease the bottom, so that's what I did. I'm used to greasing the sides, so I'm not too sure about that. But we're gonna do it anyway. All right, and then I'm just gonna put my batter into the cake pan. I'm gonna stick this in a 350 degree oven for about 26 minutes. And then I'll check it and see if it's done. And there we go. You get ready. Let me get another. I popped a toothpick in and it was clean, so I'm just going to set it here. I'm just going to let that sit and cool for about 15 to 20 minutes while I do the jello. 
work, get the work of getting jello ready. So I'm going to use red and blue, and then I'm also going to make some purple with red and blue. And then um, orange and lime for the green. So we're going to start with the blue. And I've got a cup for each color. <laughs> I'm going to use a scale to weigh my jello out because I know how much I need, but I have big boxes. That's all they had at the store. Some of them are small, so I'll be able to do that just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and weigh it out. So I need one and a half ounces of jello. So we're going to do blue first. So I'll put the blue jello in my blue cup. There's my orange. There's my red. I'm doing a little extra of them because I gotta make some purple. I'm gonna do a quarter of the box of green. There's my green. All right, so. We're going to be mixing hot water and cold water. I've got half a cup. And then half a cup to the red. And I'm going to mix it really gently with a fork so it doesn't Okay, I think it's dissolved. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of cold water. smaller boxes of jello just makes it a lot easier you're gonna use a quarter of that box for the orange and the green and on the red and the blue you're gonna use half because we're gonna make purple unless you can get grape jello but I haven't I haven't seen grape jello lately at any of our stores so you might have grape jello at your store then you don't have to do that um, once you get the boiling water dissolved, then you're going to add the cold water. And we're going to do an eighth of a cup, which is about an, which is an ounce. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that red and a little bit of that blue. I'm basically going to marry them. Voila, we have purple. All right, so I've got five colors of jello here. If you want to add yellow, be sure and get lemon jello so you can add yellow. We're going to take our fork and we're going to poke holes all over the cake. Now, you can also do this with the handle of a wooden spoon if you want bigger holes. I don't really want bigger holes. I want the I want there to be some yellow cake in between. So you're just gonna poke holes all over the top of the cake. Now that that's done, we're gonna do the fun part. Let's start with the red. Maybe I'll pour it in here. Easier to pour. And then I might go here, maybe here. You want to pour it slowly so that it seeps down into the cake and doesn't just go all over. As you can see, that kind of went all over. And you want to do little spots. I kind of got a little carried away in the beginning. Just take your time. All right. 
This is a funnel pitcher. It works fantastic for this. I don't know why I didn't get it out at the beginning. See, you can really target the area. This may be like a jumble of colors. All right, let's do green. Let's do right here. I'm kind of running out of spaces. All right. And then I'm just going to do purple. I don't know that I have anywhere else to do there. To here. Now you're just going to let the cake cool completely and then we'll make uh, whipped cream and put on top or you can just put cool whip on top. I'm going in search of the rake and some other tools that we need because we're getting ready to clean up another area of the farm so that we can hang Zeke's surprise birthday present. Right here. <laughs> oh my word. Maybe I shouldn't have put the rocks there. Wow. What is that? Oh, another land plane. Oh, and what my. is that? Piece of steel channel. And then a land plane. Is it comfy? Well, if I was smaller, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Not all about you, buddy. No. Go, Bella! She's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> I bet Bella actually enjoyed that. Can you make it go higher? Now, if this was me and Jaden when we were little, it would be done. Okay, I'm gonna put gonna this whole thing of Cool Whip on here for you. I'm gonna have a strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mmm. <laughs> He's ate enough. 
enough strawberries, you're not going to make it all the way across. He loves strawberries. I think I've put strawberries on his cake every year since he was a baby. Have I? I think I have. He's the strawberry kid. I'm going to use these non pareil sprinkles. <laughs> these are actually made with uh, no artificial dyes, so. Well, those actually do all right with you shaking. Until the lid comes off. Until the lid comes off. <laughs> we gotta put eight candles on. Do you know why? Why? Because we have to put seven for your birthday and one to grow on. But we already have a candle right there. No, that's not a candle, honey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one to grow on. This is going to melt the cool whip even more, isn't it? You think a blowtorch? A blowtorch? Actually, it's like a blowtorch. It looks like it. Sure does. <sighs> the table's about to catch on fire. Alright, kiddo. I'm going to push it over to you. Yeah, we got to sing happy birthday. You going to let me sing happy birthday? Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zeke. Happy birthday to you. Smile real quick. <gasps> Woohoo! Good job, buddy. see his eyeballs. Are you ready? You ready? Huh? That's a good boy. Good boy. Okay. Nope. Sit. Oh, it is a good boy. <laughs> uh-oh. Chuck! Oh. It's a... And it's, it's a, gone. It's a good cake, Mama. How are you, buddy? Hi! <laughs> it looks like it's on fire. What do you think about that, Bella? <laughs> <laughs>